Hello buddy, my fan man, and welcome back to another vlog. Another one, eh? So we're looking at my PZ A Bob at the moment. As you can see, I'm just starting to fit the new times to it. Um, I managed to actually fuck this one up and put the spring on the wrong way and I even think it's the wrong spring. I was doing it in a rush just trying to get it done, but it, it turns and everything. So how I've done it is one wide, one narrow. I'm just going to do that all the way around them both. Um, this is the latest bit of kit I bought. It's actually got wheelbarrow tyres on. I'm not sure if they're supposed to have them on, but that's what people said their sizes are. And they're 358, the two of them. This one's a bit flatter than the other. It wants a bit more air in. Um, Ford to major. We'll get on to that one in a minute. So, yeah, that's my Hey Bob. I thought I'd do a bit of kit bit of a kit tutorial, well a bit of a kit look around because I've obviously added some more. So this is the first one to be fixed, it's going to have the new tyres put on it. I'm not doing it tonight because it is actually like 30 something degrees and I'm cooking, just standing here making the video. So sitting here hammering pegs out is not what I want to do. I'm probably going to work on it a bit later, that's why I've got my parasol. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, it. I bought that for 300 and I bought my mower for 150 we'll go have a look at that in a minute. Um, but like I said, it is it's actually quite good. The gates for it over there, and as you can see, one of them is bent. It wants welding and just straightening out and welding up and piece of plate putting in. But other than that, it's having a new time set, new tyres, and a new gates holder. This one here is a new one. And that's it. So I've literally fixed it. We'll get to the major in a minute, like I said. That's the hay bob. A nice, really nice bit of kit. I do like it. It is quite... It's, it's it's a bit of a weird size for that tractor because you have to set the arms at a higher lift height to get it off the ground a bit higher. But anyway, so here is my PZ mower. Bit of a wreck. Um, the bloke that had it before me burnt the belts out and fucked the bearings up. The bearings that go in this little tube here, which is your PTO shaft tube. And as you can see, he pretty much fucking obliterated this outer housing. So I've got to try and get that out and the end one and pulley as well. So if anybody knows the sizes of these belts, please let me know. Because um, I'm looking for a set for it. I only need three for this. So I'd like to get six, three on it, three as a spare. I have got the old ones here for it. I could just measure them, but if anyone knows the sizes or if anyone knows, do the, there's a, I keep seeing on eBay the Deutz drum mowers, the new ones and the old ones. Do the old ones fit or do the new ones fit these? Because I'm pretty sure most P's are, pretty much sure most drum mowers are just the same. And there's all the keys and everything that came out of it. Wants a new skirt on as well, or curtain, as people call them. Skirts, curtains. And it could do with a new top if anyone's got one. If anyone's got one of these they want rid of, cheap. I don't care really how cheap or, you know. And a new skirt, to, well, if I can get these two bits new, or second hand in good quality. I mean, to be honest, for this one, I'd probably just take this side off and just get another. You can just buy them in sides and do them, but this top bit's a bit fucked. It's all rotten. So I paid 150 quid for this. I haven't used it yet. The blades don't look too bad. They're inside the drums right now because it hasn't been spun up. I haven't actually tried it on the major because, of course, all the bearings are fucked. But this is the next thing to go to the fix. Um, so this is just sat here at the moment. It, we're still in the middle of the, this drought, so as you see, fuck all the grow. We have had a bit of rain, and by the looks, things in the clouds. I'm hoping to get a bit more tonight. I mean, it, it's looking to now August, the first of August, before we see any rain. So that's a fucking nightmare, but it is what it is. Um, I mean, to be honest, I wasn't expecting to get any work this year. I might get some in the winter with my chain arrows and my topper, which is just over there. I did get some work, but the cross dryness, dry weather has stopped that again. Um, so yeah, I had it dropped off to my house. I had both of these dropped off to my house for an extra 30 quid. Um, I know drum mowers, people say don't use drum mowers on tractors. I've had quite a few people say that because they require so much more horsepower to just get them to spin up. But a 175, which is only a bit bigger than a major, and I mean that size-wise, not engine-wise. I think they're about 90-something horse or something like that. 90 horse, probably 65 horse, I'm not too sure. Um, but we used to run one on a 175, 
not, not 65 volts, 7, 75 volts. And that used to cope with it quite well, so I'm hoping my major will. But till my bearings are in and my belts are on, I can't really just put it on and just power it up. Um, of course, that is a non-live drive major as well, so it's more of a pain. Um, so yeah, if anyone knows, if anywhere, if anybody knows where you can even get them, that'll help. Any websites, or anything. I do try and search for them, but I don't know the numbers to this one because they're all gone. Like there's no. This is its cover. This is its cover that should have a sticker on. Doesn't exist anymore. So yeah, a new top and some curtains is what I'm looking for. If anyone has any of them spare. Trailer. Now this is the first update video I've done on this trailer. And as you can see, I never even did one when it was old, but. So it's had two new side rails, either side. It's been completely ground down with an angle grinder and a wire brush and completely painted again in the Ford to Major Blue. New tyres on the rims, it's had no brakes because, not brakes, uh, when I took the brakes to bits and looked inside the shoes, the brake shoes were like fucking new, so it's, it's had the original ones back in. It is a three ton, but you can put four on it. The ram isn't on it at the moment, where does the ram go? That up there somewhere. Um, so it's just under this shitty cover for now. It's pretty pathetic. So it needs rewooding and the sides putting back on and then that is done. Bought it from next door just over there. It's been sat for 10 years so I did it up. Whatever. Your chain harrows. Now this is a six foot set of chain harrows. These are going to be flipped back over because these are the wrong way up at the moment. And I'm going to try and make a mounted set, which shouldn't be too hard to do. I'm going to put a piece of box sort of down this end and sort of make a square around them and then a frame on them. But they are heavy as fuck, so that's why they're this way up, because when you drag them on the floor, they're not trying to rip up the ground, so they're a bit easier. So when I put them in the shed and take that front piece off and stretch them out flat, so they're completely flat on the ground to measure, they'll be the other way up with the spikes facing down and I shall measure them all and get them all set and then have a set of them made. Of course my baler, it's got a sheet on it. This sheet is only just over the knotters. Um, another thing, I know people are gonna moan that I leave this outside. Unfortunately, I haven't got any space to put it in a shed. I'd love to put it in a shed, but at the moment I haven't got any room. This is gonna have two new tires and tubes because they're fucked. Well, they're cracked, they're not fucked, but they're just cracked. Um, Again, this trailer is a hell of a long trailer. Um, it also has a draw a thing for a draw bar, so I'm going to put a leg, a thing on it. It has got brakes, which I am going to try and get working. It's not going to be used for that much. More than likely, this trailer will be used for just shows. Um, I'll do it up, put the signs on it, that you know, for me, little business or whatever, and it will just be a showpiece to go with the major whenever it goes anywhere. Because it's a nice trailer, and I've done it up. I don't really want to wreck it. I'll probably use it for fencing and things like that. Um, so if we come over here, that's our mat brake fault lift. I have done a video on that, that was ages ago. That is a three cylinder Perkins in that with a three speed or um, three speed sort of selector and a reverse. So it's, it's not, it's brilliant. It does what you want. It's not brilliant, brilliant, but it does exactly what it says on the tin. Howie's topper over there that has done some work. I was topping a paddock last Friday, which I did half of, well, just under half, I'd say, with, but then it started to thunder and lightning, and of course, cabless tractor, and I got back. I could have carried on, but, but they had a burst pipe in their field, so it was a horrendous to do it anyway. Um, I made a bit of money on that, which was actually quite happy, because I made enough money to pay back, for, to like sort of pay myself for the topper, well, I'd paid for the topper, but I've got to get back. These drums are all full of oil, these three here, uh, they need taking down a tip, which is oil out of this little beast, because if we all remember rightly, it had chicken flavoured oil, which is not good. So it's had 25 litres in the back already, and it is just, it's just on the dipstick, so this thing holds. Someone was telling me they put 80 litres in there, so I've ordered another couple drums. They should be here tomorrow or Wednesday, so I'll get that finished. The gearbox on the front here has had all new oil in, this one here, all new oil in, and that is fine. Gosh, she's got a straight pipe on her. Um, this needs a, badly needs a wash after it did that paddock. It is covered in, you know, all, all the grass and everything. Just see what time we're on, 9.55. Also, I did the clutch pedal seal that's down here. 
as well because that was leaking so I did that the last leak to finish is the rear crank seal but what I'm gonna do is this year I'm gonna let this tractor just sort of run and run and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order a complete engine set for it complete rebuild of the engine and save some money and get clutch set for it as well and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try if I can and get another tractor before I fucking strip this one I want another major if I can or another tractor of the same sort of horse to power the baler and everything then this one will come out of commission and we'll go down to being stripped and then the other tractor I have if I get any jobs in whilst this one is being stripped it can get finished and the other one will just back as act as a backup because at the moment you have to keep taking this stuff anything if you want to use the tractor for anything else you have to take whatever's on the back so of course I had the hay bob on the back because I was putting the tyres on it and I wanted to lift it up then the major needed fixing I've done the rear PTO seal as well by the way that was leaking that's all been done that's all finished now um, so yeah, it's sort of a kit update. I've got quite a bit. I'm quite happy with how good it's collected. This is it now. I won't probably spend any more money in the way of kit. Probably just do what I can to this lot. So spend the money buying the parts first. Um, the mower, if you do, if anybody knows of anything and you live around the Stafford or you talk to area, then drop me a PM on, if you're in my Discord or Facebook page or, you know, any, any leave a comment if you want saying, whatever because i'd love to try and get some new stuff that mo because it is knackered um chain arrow set i'm going to make a set of that as a lift because that they're, they're trailed at the moment so they're good but they're a pain in the ass to move whereas if i have a fixed set they're going to be even better because i can move them myself my log splitter that is a piece of plate with two arms welded on an a-frame this is probably how we'll make the a-frame to fit the chain arrows and that we'll think of that when we get to there but that's a spiral log splitter, it's rusty as fuck because it gets left outside all year round. Um, yes, as you probably all notice, this is an air on on this tractor. It is quite good. I don't know if your neighbours are out of the box. So. <laughs> so, that's how good it is. It is, um, it was given to me, but uh, I thought I'd add it on as a novelty. I could have fitted it to the roll bar, but I thought the side rail's best. It's quite hidden as well from people on that side of the road. Of course, the straight pipe, which we've all heard it run with that on. It needs to have... Is that manifold bent? That exhaust needs to be going like that. It doesn't seem to be perfectly square. I don't know whether it's the manifold or it's the way the exhaust sits in it. It's just because a bit of play. But what I might do is make a plate. So I have this piece sitting here and then have a piece of steel come over and sort of slit around the top to stop it blowing all the shit up the side to keep it sort of encased around it um, but this needs a run it hasn't run for about two weeks so I need to make sure its battery's not dead so I shut the straight pipe on it because I like the noise and it's like it's not that loud um, so coming over to here as you can see we've got all this shit here Can't we? 13 minutes. I have to keep watching the time because if you get to 20 minutes it decides to just quit. So here, my brother has said when we hire another digger in, because we're going to hire one in to level this, we're going to level this and build another lean, sort of little lean to, and that's where my shit's going to go in. So all the hay bob, the mower and the baler need to fit in there. The trailer can stay outside because I'm going to put a sheet on it. The topper can go in there as well. So all the stuff will go in there and I'll try and make sure I have enough room to fit my major in because I'd love to keep it undercover for how much work I put into it. But yeah, so that's it really kit wise. I mean, we'll fire this up with the straight pipe. I think we've all heard it before, but some lovely oil in there, but I'm not really bothered. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping everybody loves it, is enjoying the Spring Hill save game that we've started. I have continued to do that. You know, it's it's nothing nothing spectacular in the way of mods and everything. But my tractor's actually nearly on a thousand hours. She's on 833 since the new clock was added. Now this thing hasn't got any transmission oil in, so it can't run for very long, I don't think. I'm not going to actually drive it anywhere. I just want to make sure the thing will actually still start. So there we'll go like that. This is a cold start. I need to be in that hand here. This is going to be a cold start on tick over, so I'll have to see how well it does.
so not too bad. It does, a lot of people moan because it smokes a lot, but it's always done that. That's a three foot, that's a three and a half foot piece of tube, which I actually ordered, that is uh, two inches wide, I think, because that's a two inch, that's a two inch rain cap. Um, so yeah, that's it really, that's the kit. I know it's not been the most interesting of videos, but I thought I'd break up the spring kill by chucking a vlog in. And when I start using my kit, I'll try and record some. I definitely want to get the paddock across the road. I've been told I can mow that once it's long enough, so we need some rain so I can do that. But that does mean I can plod along with this. I'm not going to plod along with it tonight, because I've been working flat out all last week and the weekend on stuff. So I'd like to actually have a day off where I can just play my computer and sort out all the shit I need to sort out. But anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe more today and I'll see you all in the next video. Have fun and goodbye.